Hello out there, my name is Benjamin and thank you so much for joining me once again in the studios of Blabend Solutions. In today's video tutorial, I will be walking you guys through another simple step by step with no steps skipped on how to design a very simple podcast cover design. It could be a flyer. But before we begin, let me take this opportunity to say a very brief thanks to you for clicking this video. If this is your first time of being in here, this is Blabend Solutions. And we are into the production of graphic design video tutorials. So if you think videos of this nature will be of great benefits to you, then I encourage you to hit the subscribe button, like, share, and let me know your thoughts by leaving them in the comment box below. If you've already done all these, thank you so much. And thank you so much for showing up once again if you're already a part of this family. Without any much ado, let's jump right in the tutorial. Alright guys, so uh, these are the resources that we will be working with. We will be working with some, whilst the others we might choose to work with them or not. Okay, so quickly let's move on to our Photoshop interface. So we have our Photoshop in here. So the file size that I'm working with is 1080 by 1080 pixels. So to do that, come to File, click on New, and let's create a new workspace. So I'm going to name this Podcast cover and uh, I'm going to make this 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels the resolution resolution is 300 and uh, yeah so okay so let's click okay when we are done so we have this set up for us nicely so first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to import my first image so come in here go to your resource folder and now let's drag this mic icon that i have downloaded in here actually i got this from google so but i will make this resources available for you so make sure to check the description below for the link to download this so let me reduce the size a bit all right so something this way is okay and let's hit enter and we have something nice as this so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to do the typing of our text okay so it's actually something simple so it shouldn't take us too much of the time to finish it okay so with our text tool selected or our type two so that the t the shortcut is t so click this and i'm going to do the typing okay the title of the podcast is actually uh, the optimist okay and uh, it has some subtitles so i'm going to say oh uh, the name of the brand is 60 seconds inspiration or motivational rule 60 seconds inspiration or motivational rule so i'm going to type this 60 seconds then i'm going to type the other one which is motivational rule motivational So with this, I'm going to select a font by name Helvetica Inserant. Okay, Helvetica Inserant. So that you, there you go, Helvetica Inserant. So I'm going to keep this here, and I'm going to maintain the font size of this, which is lemon milk. That is the font size, lemon milk. And I'm going to change the color of this to something reddish. And let's reduce the size of this from 18 to nine is too big let me check six six is too small so what i'm going to do is i'm going to reduce the 60 seconds so it matches all right so so that is the brand name so i'm going to make this bold good So we can select both layers in here and come to the alignment part so we can align this together okay then i'm going to put this here this way so let's group this by pressing ctrl g on our keyboard and let me rename this as a brand 
brand name right okay so that there you go let me push this here but good so the next thing i'm going to type is the title of the podcast which is the optimist so the optimist right the i'm going to type them differently so optimist good so with the the d i'm going to use a font style by name great vibes great vibes and uh, i'm going to so we have something like this great vibes so i'm going to increase the size actually what i did was i pressed ctrl t held my shift key and i'm going to drag this and make it big all right so the optimus right good let's push this here a bit good the optimus the optimus that is the d is too big so let's reduce the size and make it something this way i'm going to change the color to this reddish color so uh, let's choose something like this reddish good we have the optimus wow and now i'm going to um maintain the optimus but i'm going to make a small lettuce and i'm going to increase the size of optimus as well there you go there you go i'm going to change the color for this one as well to the same color and i'm going to add some stroke to both layers so let's come to our layer style here and choose stroke okay so i'm going to select a white stroke sorry did i a white stroke as this and i'm going to increase the size to a bit something big a bit something big a bit good and let's hit OK like that. So, but before, let me reduce the size of my microphone. Microphone, microphone, microphone. Good. And let me place it here. This way. It's too small. Okay, so something this way is okay. All right now the color of the microphone is different from the background color okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come to my adjustment fill and i'm going to add a solid fill but with the solid fill i'm, I'm going to place it beneath the microphone okay so let me cancel this and select this background layer before i do that so i can select the color from this okay so you can see it somehow blends with that okay good so let's select the D and let's come to add layer style and let's add a stroke to it as well. Let's change the color to white. Okay. So, okay. Think five is okay. All right. So let's reduce the size of both a bit. I think it's too big. So the Optimus, good. So control T. I selected both layers by holding my shift key I was able to select both layers so now that I've reduced the size I can rotate them this way okay so I have something this way and I can drag them here this way as well so let's select the, the D sorry I mean the okay and let's reduce the size it's too big it's too big for my liking so D good so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add a shadow to it so let's come back to our layer style and let's choose drop shadow and here let's make some small movement let's drag so per what okay so if you think you are okay with that then I think you, you are good to go so I think this is okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click okay and I'm going to apply that same layer effect to my optimus okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um well there's a short way of doing this so i'm going to right click here and going come here copy layer style 
and when I get to the other layer I'm going to do paste layer style but I'm not going to do that so I'm just going to do same thing select my optimus layer come to the layer style add layer style and I'm going to add some small nice shadow to this as well And let's hit OK. So we are really getting close to what we want. I think I need to increase the Optimus a bit. Great. The Optimus. Wow. So let me put this up here. The Optimus. Good. Good. So the next thing I'm going to do is let, let's let me group the op Optimus together. So Control G. So I'm going to rename this Optimus, right? Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do another typing. Eh? So I'm going to fast forward this to save us some little time. So I I'm, I'll get back to you guys shortly. that I have in here which is TikTok that is so big so I'm going to reduce the size of TikTok to something smallish in here and let's place TikTok somewhere here right. Let me see if I can get the other TikTok. Okay, so we have we actually have the other TikTok in here. So I'll do away with the first TikTok that we brought. And I'm going to work with this TikTok. So let's let me delete this. Good. Delete this one. And let's put this one in here this way. then what next is i'm going to align them to the right so by selecting all layers can align this to the right this way live should go up a bit so you can choose to make live white and maybe place it on a, a square or a rectangle shape something this way something this way so we have a red rectangle shape then we place it here so we have live on top with a white background so we can we can do something this way then we have here so that's it so let's let me draw this straight bar and make it black and let me put that one here okay all right so i'm going to group all this control g and that is tick tock okay so now i can easily move this up and down all right guys so this program is actually on tiktok live and the name is the optimist 20.
okay so you can check it out but we'll soon be launching this as well on soundcloud so i'm going to put the logo of soundcloud cloud here so i'm going to say come in come in soon okay then i'm going to import the soundcloud logo in here All right so let me change this to black good so i'm going to put this here this here in this way and let's import the logo of soundcloud okay make it small and there you have it so we have something like this all right guys so this brings us to the end of today's video tutorial i believe you learned something in here if you did please do want to hit the subscribe button like share and let me know your thoughts by leaving them in the comment box below until i come your way next time thank you so much for choosing blabend solutions and see you in my next video